What's up guys, back with another Manila rope test. Today we're doing some CPM 10V. The bottom blade is a blim that was sent to me by Jason of Blank Blades. Canvas micarta handle, 63.5 Rockwell 10V. The top is a custom Nakiri that he made for me in 66.5 Rockwell CPM 10V. So I've carried this fixed blade EDC in the bottom and used this Nikiti in the kitchen extensively at this point. And I've been extremely pleased with the performance, but approaching this test, I was wondering if that really good real world performance would be echoed in the world of this and rope cut testing simply because as we've been discovering, like finer structure steels with very low carbide content can sometimes test unusually high, as in the case of H1. And while higher carbon, higher alloy content, stainless steels have seemed to test sort of consistently with the testing that you would see in other channels or the sort of proportions that you'd be familiar with from Catra testing or other people's rope testing, cardboard testing, whatnot, they do seem at a little bit of a disadvantage at times when it comes to the best machine. So I've had a great experience with these two knives. I was not initially sure of how exactly they would perform because they have a higher alloy content, but they have pretty decent toughness. They're pretty thin behind the edge. But honestly, this testing has thrown me more than one curveball, and there are often results that are somewhat unanticipated, although usually I end up learning something from them as you take all the factors into consideration. However, this test actually was... <laughs> Not a surprise in the sense that it did something different from what I would have expected, but it was a surprise in the fact that it so thoroughly delivered the edge retention that I have experienced from these steels and from, from these knives, and it absolutely blew my mind. Now... To give you sort of a context for the sort of performance results we're going to see in this test, you have to understand that the highest testing edge in my overall testing so far has been Vanex. Vanex cut through the manila rope uh, 20 times, and it sort of petered out to this really average working edge for the last six or seven cuts, but it was a good result, and 20 cuts is, is quite good, especially considering that on the fine edge, Vanax only cut 10 cuts before surpassing 400 grams on the best machine. Now, that is the standard and the highest reading that we have received so far, and I will have... <laughs> I will have to have sped this up so much in order to get to the results quickly enough, but I'll just tell you right now that the EDC knife, the smaller knife, even though it's only a two and a half inch blade, which is much smaller than most of the other blades that I have tested in this, most of them have been 3.3 to 3.5, it tested at 38 cuts through the rope. And except for a, a couple of outliers, the numbers were surprisingly stable. It just did this gradual descent all the way to the end. After that, I was wondering, what is this 66 and a half Rockwell Nikiri? Is it too thin because the edge is so thin on this thing? Is it too hard? Is it actually going to chip or something like that? Or is the toughness of 10V going to hold out? I also have noticed that flatter edges tend to test a little bit more poorly than curved edges, so I anticipated that the EDC knife would have a little bit of an advantage. And it may well have had a little bit of an advantage, but in any case, this Nikiri went toe-to-toe -to -toe with this EDC and even surpassed it delivering a full 40 cuts of the 40 millimeter manila rope. I'll pull up a chart so we can compare results and we can discuss what conclusions and findings we can take from the testing done today. 
All right, well, you can see that they all started in the mid 100s, these displayed knives. Your yellow knife there is S35VN on a normal fine edge. It went to nine cuts, which is a very normal reading for a sort of mid grade super steel or mid edge retention super steel like S35VN. Your green line there is the Vanex dual grit test, which I was referring to. That has been the longest lasting dual grit edge so far. And your red is the Nakiri at 66 and a half Rockwell. And your blue is the EDC knife. So what can we see? Definitely the ups and downs are smoother in these higher hardness steels. There's less variance in the edge shape. And so there's less variance in the best reading as the edge begins to be worn away. The 66 Rockwell is much smoother and overall it sort of stays in that pleasant area around the 300 line where the 63 Rockwell sort of wanders around or is worn away I believe is what's happening and worn into different shapes that test differently on the best a little bit more often. Overall, very smooth numbers, and what's easy to see is that except for probably cuts two and three, the entire line of the 10V numbers are all above the sharpness of Vanex. So Vanex had that early crisp edge retention and then dropped to working edge sort of category pretty quick, and the 10V stayed in that. 200 to 300 range a lot more than these stainless steels and it stretched out right along that 300 line sticking pretty close to it through about 30 cuts which is insane guys <laughs> like 200 to just over 300 is an edge that still feels pretty good in my experience and 300, I don't know, 350 to 400, 330 to 400 is an edge that begins to feel a little tired. And you can see these knives went nearly, they went over 20 cuts before passing that. And then they wandered around before truly passing that past 30 cuts, which is wild. Uh, I don't know why most steels take a little dip and then suddenly improve before kind of plummeting. And that happened with these ones at, um, you know, somewhere around the 32 mark on the Nikiri and about the 30 mark. So I don't know why that dynamic exists, but it's pretty consistent. You can see S35VN did it at around five cuts. You can see Vanex took a dip at about 11 cuts. And uh, but anyway... All in all, I just have to say phenomenal, 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 phenomenal work to Jason, the maker of these knives. Jason, you hit it out of the park. Your 10V is the best steel that I have handled so far in my life. Uh, it's, it's really insane. And I'm so happy that just trying to test it as objectively as I can while being aware of variables really brought out the performance that I've been feeling and displayed it. I mean, you well and truly doubled the best dual grit reading I have ever gotten off of quite a technical steel. Like, Vanex is nothing to laugh at. So, well done, Jason. And I think you can draw the conclusion that well-hardened 10V is going to be an excellent candidate for dual grit sharpening. And I think you can definitely draw the conclusion that the reputation that these steels like 10V have for holding that fineness of their edge is well deserved. And I think that my testing sort of attests to that. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to check out the last episode where we compared 57 Rockwell 1095 steel to some 63 Rockwell, again, a hardness battle. I'll put that link on screen now. For all the rest of you, I'll say peace out from the home slice. You guys take care.